Hello everyone. This is the first painting that we will paint together. You see here a bright fall morning. As you notice the leaves falling onto the ground and the leaves change color from red to orange to yellow. And fall is also a season where we have to be warm for the cold weather conditions ahead. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. I think it would be good to start with the composition, right? So with a pencil, any pencil will do. I'm just gonna really roughly draw some lines just so I get a good sense of where I'm going to paint. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can kind of cut it or erase it after. And then afterwards, I am gonna start right away with wetting the paper. And I'm going to wet the whole area. Just roughly, doesn't have to be perfect. If you would like to check to see if there's enough water, you can kind of tilt it to the side and see where you added the water. But try not to add too much water because then the paper will warp a little too fast. So for this painting, I'm going to start with yellow and go from outside to inside. Again, outside from inside here too. And lastly, a little bit of yellow on the ground. Just going this way. There we go. This white area is where the light is strongest. So we're going to leave that white. Next, while the paper is still wet, I'm going to get some brown, otherwise known as burnt sienna, and just make a few lines going vertical. And if it's too dark for your liking, you can get some water. Kind of blend that out. Right now, you kind of want hints of trees in the background. So, again, there's foreground and then this background, right? We're working on the background right now. What is, what is behind objects? lines make sure they're light add more water if you want to make it more lighter and add some brown to the bottom as well okay 
And so now I'm going to start adding some red to the top. For wet on wet techniques, the paint is going to look really, really dark in the beginning. But as time goes by, it's actually going to go a, get a bit lighter. So you don't have to worry about it being that dark right now because it's going to fade. You can kind of like vary the textures by kind of dabbing like this. That's good. So now we need to wait before we add the details because if we go on right now, it's going to smear again. Hmm, still a bit wet. Just to speed it up a bit, I'm gonna take some paper towels and dab it a little bit. You don't have to, but this is just so that I can continue on with the with the video. Now I want to make the tree bark a little bit defined now. So I'm going to try with a brush that's not too wet. See if I can start, there we go, making lines. Don't have to worry about too much about the details here. We're going to add more details to the trees over here and here very soon. Gonna add some ground now. Add a little bit more definition. So now, I think, yep, it's pretty dry on the edge, so I'm going to, this time, add a bit more paint. But not that much water, and try to make it darker on this side. I'm going to add some branches. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You notice here on the bottom too that I'm going darker. This is where the 
foreground starts. Okay. Draw a little bit darker on the bottom. So that we can really understand that this part is in the front, this is in the middle, and this is the background. If you add too much paint, again, feel free to just use the paper towel and take off the excess paint. And it could also work as a textural element, which is always nice. There we go. So now, Once that's a bit more dry, I'm going to end this painting by adding some leaves on these branches and have some leaves falling as well. And that will be the end of the painting. I'm going to actually just try adding the details now. I'm going to get some red. This time again, you're not doing the same technique as you did here in the background. Because then you won't be able to see what's front and what's back. Kind of um, using the edge of the brush to create these leaf-like techniques. It's okay, some of them start to fade. That's actually quite nice. Again, make sure the brush is not too wet. So now I'm going to move on to this side and get some red. And I'm going to flip the paper just so that I can keep going like this. But you can do what you like. It'll be the same. It's always good to experiment with what works for you. There we go. And lastly, since it's the season fall. I'm going to make sure there's some leaves falling. Try not to get too 
carried away. You don't need to add too much, right? And lastly, for me, I'm going to add a bit more yellow so that we can get some mixed tones of orange, red, and yellow, right? Just while the paper's still wet. I'm going to add some piles of leaves on the bottom. And that's the painting. I hope you enjoyed painting the fall colors with me as the leaves change from green to red, yellow, or orange. And that you keep warm during these cool weather conditions ahead. Take good care and thank you very much.